Hello and welcome to Your Daily Five. I am Jane Galena, also known as Airplane Jane, and I'm fairly accessible on social media. If you guys ever want to reach out and ask me any questions, my handles are on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, my website, cjntrade.com, and I'm also a leader at Ticker Talker. If you want to shoot me an email, please feel free to at jane at cjntrade.com. All right, this week we are starting out with GameStop seasonality is setting up for a bigger move to the upside. Now I am using some weekly charts this week. This does show that we are in a bit of an ascending triangle right now. If we can have a nice close above 220, I think we might see some volume coming into it for a bigger move back up to the 400 level. If we break down below 180, watch out. The power of the shorts will likely take hold. And remember that GameStop is in that lower float segment with roughly 59 million in the float. Next up is going to be Qualcomm. Qualcomm has been setting up with a nice W with a double bottom set up at roughly 129 and a resistance of that top of that W at 139. So looking for this to have at least a nice move up to 149. However, the seasonality for Qualcomm as well is just beginning to start. And you can see on that MACD for the weekly, it looks like we are ready to cross that signal line for a bigger move to the upside. Next one is going to be one that many people are not used to seeing as a potential short, and that's going to be XLF. XLF seems to have topped out the beginning of June. Roughly the week of June 7th, we started to pull back and banks, financial stocks in general do tend to be safe havens. However, we do have some new regulations that are due to be going into effect and this could be changing the power of the banks. Right now, the banks are set up on fractional banking system, meaning before we had the Fed dropping the reserve requirements of the banks down to zero, they had to have at least 3% in the bank. Meaning, if they had $1,000 coming in, they could lend out $970 of that $1,000. And they would have to keep in, excuse me, $9,700 of that $1,000, and they would have to keep in $300. Well, March of 2020, with the new COVID relief plans and their legislature, they dropped it down to zero, meaning that they only had to have zero percent in the bank, which means all the money that comes into the banks can be lent out back to the public. What we do have going on is the new banking regulation of ISO 20022. This is an international standard operation for the banking system. And this is going to take over from the SWIFT system. Right now, the Fed is talking about putting in their Fed now payment. And all of this is looking to happen by November 2021. So right now, we have a lot of banks talking about central bank digital currencies. We have a lot of banks talking about going to that digital system. Why? Well, it starts with this, the ISO 2022, which started back in 2019. Actually, it started all the way back in 2004, but we've seen further movement. 2017 was big with XRP as well in talking about it being that central digital bridge currency for all the central bank digital currencies. So XLF is on watch. It has started to lose some strength. When financials pull back, they play a major role in the indexes. You can see right here, 21% of IWM, 17, excuse me, 15.7% of the Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF, DIA, and 13.73% of the S&P 500 ETF, SPY. So keeping all of that in mind, I am watching IWM like a hawk. This is part of the reason why IWM does tend to be the first index to correct, because when the banks start to fail, we start to see that happen first 
on the Russell. If you look at it here on the weekly chart, we do see that we have an ascending triangle. And if we were to break down below that 225 level, which is going to be our 20 simple moving average on the weekly chart, we could see a bigger move to the downside. And if it's going to be that the banks are losing their power because we are going to digital currencies, then you're going to see that we might even see this go back to the levels we saw in early 2020 in March, all the way down to 110 for the Russell. So I'm watching this like a hawk, being very cautious. I am not feeling uber bullish at this moment because of seeing dark pool prints, which I do track, a lot of dark pool prints on financials, on mortgages, and also on the Russell. So, or excuse me, in particular, the Russell 2000 ETF. So keeping all of that in mind, I am very much watching this to see, are we really topping off here? at roughly 232.50 as that top resistance line, or are we going to break down below that 225 area now? So being very tiptoeing through the tulips this week and this month with the indexes. There is one cryptocurrency in particular, actually there's about six that I'm looking at that you probably could have gathered from that ISO 2022 slide, but one in particular, which is going to be XLM Stellar Network. So the Stellar Network is set up as its own digital network, right? And we do have the coin that functions on the digital network. That is going to be XLM. Lumen is the name of the coin. So right now we've seen that we did have a bigger upward move from the end of November once all the cryptos are moving to the upside. And right now we've seen a bit of a correction. I would be watching for XLM to have a nice, strong daily close above 30 cents. If we can go above 30 cents, I think we could see over 100% move to the upside up to roughly 66 cent resistance or even further. Now, big reason why I do like XLM is because it is due to be one of those crucial networks that will be used with this new ISO 2022 standard. And as a result, the use function is going to increase the demand for the coin. Thank you guys for watching. That is my daily five for today. Again, if you ever have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at jane at cjanetrade.com. Hey, Grayson Rose here with Stock Charts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, consider giving it a like down below, maybe leave us a comment. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe at the link up above. We're gonna bring you daily content from an incredible collection of technical analysts and financial experts.